Gonna see what she's made of. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a 2021 Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid in the limited package, and this one actually has a full charge, so we'll actually be able to really test out the hybrid system in today's video. But first and foremost, a huge shout out and thank you to the Dodge Ram here in Provo for giving me some time with this Pacifica. Check out their inventory link below. Let's get straight into the video. Now under the hood, we have a naturally aspirated 3.6 liter V6 that's paired to an EVT automatic transmission and a hybrid system. Now total system outputs 260 horsepower. And then in terms of fuel economy, it's 82 miles per gallon equivalent. It's 30 miles per gallon just with the gasoline engine. And that's all. Now let's go over the front end of the Pacifica Limited. So first off, the hood slopes down abruptly just like pretty much any other minivan on the market. And then coming to the lights, this is my favorite part. I love the look of these new lights. They look really sharp with all of the LEDs. They're really bright as well. And then notice that the whole front grille has pretty much been blacked out with the chrome accenting around it. And then you've got the chrome there for the Chrysler logo. And then below the Chrysler logo, there's a little camera. And then more black mesh here at the bottom with parking centers integrated into it. And then there is this little kind of like chrome strip. It's kind of like an upside down L basically but other than that there is your full front view on the Pacifica Hybrid. Now coming around the side here we've got two 35 millimeter tires wrapped around 18 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well and I really like the design on the wheels definitely crazy especially for a minivan you usually don't see something like that and then the brake caliper pretty much matches the coloration on the wheel a little bit different um, in texture but the color is pretty similar but yeah I really like the wheels and then since this is a plug-in hybrid this is where you actually charge it so you guys can see there's a little charging port right there really easy to access and then notice that they've got the chrome there at the top of the mirror and then right there in the middle portion of the door handles and then at the bottom of the minivan as well but other than that here's your full side view on the pacifica Now let's pop in the back of the Pacifica. So first off, notice that the loading floor is really low. The reason it's so low is because you can fold the seats fully down into it. Um, that's what this little strap here is for. So you pull the one strap and then the seat pretty much just does everything for you. Obviously you have the mats there, so I can't do it, but you guys can see how the seat folds um, and like pretty much just folds all the way up, which is pretty cool. But then when you are ready to use the seat again, you guys can just use all the straps and everything and then that'll give you access to the seats. But yeah, they've got the little diagram right there that shows you everything. And then another nice little thing is there's a little storage space. Now, someone mentioned my other Pacifica video that this is where the vacuum cleaner goes. I mean, that makes sense, but you could use it as storage if you don't have the vacuum cleaner. And then on the other side, we do get a little 12 volt, but other than that, that's everything for the back of the Pacifica. So yeah. Now let's go over the rest of the rear of the Pacifica. So first off, you've got this gigantic light bar, which I absolutely love the look of. I know this is a minivan, but it's a stylish minivan. And then you've got the Pacifica and the e-hybrid badge right there. Parking sensors all in the bottom and then more chrome accenting. But yeah, that light bar looks fantastic. Like from the back end, this is definitely the best looking minivan on the market. Now let's pop into the back of the Limited. So first off, notice that you've got this really nice leather here for the seats, nice perforations there in the center. I love the piping on the outside. And then you've got little armrests and everything. But yeah, just really nice material use here, the seats. And just look how soft these seats are to the touch. But let's actually pop in. So stepping in, I do have to duck just a little bit, um, but in terms of headroom, it's actually pretty good. I'm 5'11", and then legroom is solid as well. This one does have the TVs in the back, which is another nice little package. You've got all of your plugins on the seats themselves for the TVs, but we're gonna close the door here. The reason we're gonna close the door is there's some cool stuff on the door. So yes, you get your little window control and it comes with a sunshade as well, and then a little cup holder down here. And then you've got this cool kind of like black accenting on that little portion of the door panel. Um, but yeah, this part is pretty cool. And the last thing is the climb controls are there at the top of the Pacifica. So if you're a rear passenger, you have to be on that side to control the climate zone, which is uh, kind of sad. It's only on one side, but at least they give you the function. Well, I do have to pop into the third row because you guys constantly request for me to get squished back into third rows of vehicles. And of course the headrest is down. But now that we're in the third row, it's a very nice place to be. I've got a decent amount of headroom. I'm kind of like slouched a little bit back here, but I actually fit a couple of cup holders, got some USBs, 
Yes, there's a sunshade back here and there is a sunroof. So you can cover it up with that little shade right here um, for the rear, but the rear passengers do get their own little sunroof. So notice that you've got the panoramic back there, or I should say up there actually, rather. And that's for like the first row and the second row. And then the third row gets this little sunroof so they get some light so it doesn't feel so like dark and gloomy back here, which I think is another nice little touch. So I think this is technically like a tri-roof. I don't know, pretty cool though. Now let's go over the door panel here in the front. So again, really nice soft touch leather here with the stitching that goes across. All of your window controls, the mirrors are power folding. I like this wood trim on this little portion right here with the memory seats. And then the mirrors do have blind spot monitoring. And coming to the seats here at the front, again, just as nice as the ones in the rear. So you got the nice perforations, really nice leather with the piping. They're soft to the touch. There's your adjustments on the side of the seat. Also, this comes with the Harman Kardon sound system. And then you guys can see you've got the light controls right there in that little area. There's what the pedals look like. The steering wheel is manually adjustable. And there's one more look before we pop in. Now this is my favorite part in this Pacifica Limited and that's the steering wheel. I love the darker leather on the outside with the leather leather on the interior. And then you've got the silver lining in between them. You always gotta see the silver lining people. Cruise control on this side. And then we've got our adaptive cruise control just down below voice command, phone controls, and then controls for the center stack. Radio controls are on the back, and then you get your turn signal stock, and then you get your windshield wiper stock, and that's all for the steering wheel. Now here's the gauge cluster in the Pacifica Limited, and I love the look of this gauge cluster. So they combine analog gauges with a little bit of a screen setup, which I think just looks good overall. So you've got your fuel there on the right side, on the left side. You've got kind of like the actual hybrid info, right? It shows you whether you're in the charge or whether you're using a bunch of power when you're accelerating. And then notice that right here in this little area, it shows you some pretty cool stuff. So it shows you your total range, but then it shows you how much is from gas and how much is from the battery, which is pretty neat. And then it shows you your battery percentage as well just up above and then as for the rest of the screen it just shows you different bits of information on the vehicle itself and then you've got your hybrid info tab which is another nice little touch right there um, but yeah the rest of the center screen is pretty normal to chrysler it's just those few things are a little bit different for the uh, hybrid aspect of it now here's the center infotainment system and this is new in the pacifica it looks really good so first off from a camera perspective you got a backup camera with the trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel and then you do have a bunch of different viewpoints you can see out of the pacifica which i mean helps out a bunch and then yes you can zoom in if you are going to hook up to a trailer now as for the rest of the infotainment system you guys probably recognize this from the durango it's the same infotainment system just made for the pacifica really easy to use one of my favorite features on this is the little fam cam so that actually shows you the interior of it so instead of having to turn back you can just kind of use this which is a lot safer but you can see what your kids are doing there in the rear and then you can obviously yell at them if they're messing around and then you do have the little e-hybrid as well which of course i didn't actually fully press it which shows you different bits of information on the hybrid system which i think is another cool little feature and then i love how they have like the climate tab is like the comfort tab because this has your heated and cooled seats and the heated steering wheel control that kind of stuff and then if you press the vehicle tab that's another neat little one which will show you like the surround camera and then the fam cam if you want shortcuts to that. But yeah, overall, good infotainment system, easy to use, and it looks really cool now. Now, popping down from the infotainment system, first off, I want to show you guys really nice wood trims kind of like all around that whole area. You can kind of see it. And then nice leather down below. We've got this section. So this is the little gear selector, which is pretty neat. It does have a low range. And then you've got your parking brake. You've got your controls for the radio. And then we do have some controls in there. So this is your parallel and perpendicular parking assistance, your parking sensors, your lane departure assistance, your stability control, analog climate controls. If you want to control that yourself via the buttons instead of using the touch screen. And then this is for the little TVs there in the back. And then we've got my mask, but inside of here, if we uh, push this, it's very dramatic very very dramatic it covers it up so then it kind of like all looks pretty but if you open it back up then we can see that we've got some decent storage space in here wireless phone charging bunch of usbs all that kind of stuff a couple of cup holders right here and then you actually have to so you can't just pull this you have to push it down and then it'll let you open it and this is the center console which more storage space got coin holders more charging areas like you can charge like the entire world's worth of devices in this minivan this is kind of an awkward camera angle for me, but you guys can see there's some more storage underneath the whole center console area. So if I kind of like pick the camera up, it's uh, down there in that little area. So popping over here, we've got nice soft touch and stitching on the dash. And then 
You can see we've got a regular little glove box right there. I love the combination of like the black with the cream. I think it looks pretty cool. And then popping up top, we do have a lighter colored headliner. Got a little sunglass holder up here. Full panoramic sunroof. Got your controls for everything pretty much here at the top. So first off, you've got the controls for the tailgate and then the doors, and then you can turn the doors off as well, which is a nice little touch. But yeah, that's uh, everything for the top. Now that we're done going with the interior on this Pacifica Limited, let's quickly get into the pricing. So in terms of pricing, this Pacifica Limited stickers for about $50,000 before any type of market adjustment. That all being said, let's take this Pacifica Limited out and see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off here in this Pacifica Hybrid. So first off, visibility of the hood, it's really good. Just like all other minivans, the hood slopes down and it's not that long, so it's easy to see out of. And then here's your visibility through both of the mirrors, which is also really solid. And then here's throughout the rest of the rear, which again, from a visibility standpoint, is pretty good. The mirrors, again, do have blind spot monitoring, which helps out. And that all being said, let's set off. So we are setting off here in this Pacifica Hybrid. And right now we're in the full EV mode. And again, it's pretty much has a full charge. We're now at 87%, um, which is pretty close to a full charge. It says 30 miles of range with that. Uh, so that'll actually allow us to do this uh, full EV mode, which is definitely neat. It definitely lends to a different driving experience. It's very quiet and it's just it's just different, um, which is nice. You don't hear any like engine noise, like the rumbling. And the V6 isn't loud by any means, but it's a lot louder than, you know, just some electric motors doing their whirring thing. Um, but you guys notice that you can pretty much drive in full EV mode for most of the time. As long as you don't get on the accelerator too hard, then it'll just stay in the EV mode. And you guys can see with the steering, there's a little bit of vagueness with the steering. It's kind of expected for a minivan, but the steering rack's very, very light. So it does have that going for it um, from a steering perspective. And then in terms of the ride quality so far, it's very smooth. But again, I kind of expected that with a minivan. All of them have a really smooth ride quality. I mean, so far I got out of that parking lot and I haven't used a single percent of charge, I believe. I think I was at 87% and I'm still at about 87%, which is definitely nice. Um, in terms of the insulation from the outside, that truck behind me is really loud. Uh, it's pretty good from an insulation perspective, but um, I would say that it could be just slightly better. And I think we finally got a break in the traffic where we can actually get up and going. So I wanna see when the actual engine's gonna pop on. We're still all electric motor. That's awesome, yeah. So I mean, still no engine, all electric motor, decent amount of torque. It gets up and goes very, very well. So that is not an issue whatsoever. Um, and yeah, you literally could, like I, I said this in my last video, if you just charge this every single time you drive this and you just have like a short commute and everything, you pretty much could never use gas with this unless you go on like longer trips. And then when you do go on longer trips, you won't have range anxiety um, with having an electric vehicle because this is a plug-in hybrid. Handling's really good on it. Again, the steering's really light. That's crazy, still full electric mode. And I don't feel like I really need any more power. Like it's more than enough power. It's getting it up and it's moving it. And again, I'm partial throttle, but yeah, I feel like it's got more than enough torque that it just, it moves it. But we'll begin our acceleration up here in just a moment and we'll see how this really goes. But we are finally gonna be getting our acceleration here with the Pacifica Hybrid and gonna see what she's made of. Uh, so you can see when you go like full throttle, it'll take a second for the engine to pop on, but then it'll turn the engine on. But as I'm noticing, it turns the engine right off. The second that you are not on the throttle and you're not needing any power from the engine, it'll turn it right off. That acceleration just used up like 3% charge, but then I, or 4% charge, but then I just gained 1% uh, by braking. We'll get another little acceleration here. The engine's not loud and it feels good. Like it's, again, it's got tons of torque off the line, more than enough. And if you're just like partial throttle acceleration all the time, this is gonna feel completely fine. As long as you're not driving this like a race car minivan. And that'll get me into summing things up with this Pacifica Hybrid. So first off, from an exterior aesthetics perspective, I think this is the best looking minivan on the market. I love the look of the new Toyota Sienna, but I feel like this just looks 
a little bit better, especially from the back end. The Sienna might win it in the front end perspective, but this um, from the rear, I think looks better. And then in terms of the interior, this limited is really nice. Um, the only downside is this stuff right here isn't the nicest, um, but I have yet to see the pinnacle. Once I see the pinnacle, then that'll really tell me um, how nice the interior is on these new Pacificas. And then from a performance standpoint, I love this hybrid. So I've driven plenty of the Pacificas with the standard engine in the past. I haven't driven the new body style, but I've driven plenty Pacificas. And I just think that this hybrid powertrain is just so much better. It's just so smooth, it's quiet, it gets, it gets really good gas mileage. And if I was buying a minivan, I would probably get the hybrid version um, just for the driving experience alone. And then it's an added benefit that it adds, you know, better fuel economy. And it gives me the opportunity to also have that full um, hybrid, or sorry, full electric experience because this is a plug-in hybrid. And yeah, if you're looking at a minivan right now, you have to check out the new Pacifica. And if you're looking at the Pacifica, you have to check out this new hybrid. Now that's gonna sum things up for our video on this 2021 Chrysler Pacifica in the limited package with the hybrid powertrain. And again, a huge shout out. Thank you to the Dodge Ram here in Provo for giving me some time with this Pacifica. Check out the inventory link below. I'll see all of you in that next video.